Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Question 68. For ungrounded systems, non-current carrying conductive materials enclosing electrical conductors or equipment or forming part of such equipment shall be connected together and to the supply system equipment in a manner that creates a low impedance path for ground fault current that is capable of carrying A. The maximum branch circuit current B. At least twice the maximum ground fault current C. The maximum fault current likely to be imposed on it D. The equivalent of the main service rating. So what would be your uh, first guess on this? I don't really like this question at all. Not because of, the, of, of what it asks, but you really don't have a good path uh, to find the answer to this in the code book in the way that the question is asked. And I went through this question looking at all the keywords. I looked up ungrounded systems, uh, non-current carrying, which is bonding, I looked under bonding, uh, non-current conductive materials, now that would typically be like a PVC material, so I looked under that, and again, that's rigid PVC, I couldn't find anything with the bonding and grounding uh, in that, that uh, pertained to this, supply systems, and I was looking for anything I could on this to try and work it, and I even asked several people to look at this as well and nobody was able to come up with something on the way that this question is worded. If we would look at our answers logically we could eliminate D because equivalent to the main service rating this type of system could be coming off of a sub panel and if you have a large building and let's say you know it could be a thousand or two thousand amps and your sub panel is only you know one or two hundred amps you don't need to protect this uh, this subsystem of it for a thousand amps so you could eliminate D logically like that you could also eliminate A the maximum branch circuit current and this is kind of unclear is this the maximum branch circuit coming off of this well what if this contains something else okay and I'm not I'm not saying that this is a panel that's made out of PVC but but is it the branch circuit coming off of this or the branch circuit to it you really can't tell on that so that really lo logically lives as B and C and B at least twice the maximum ground fault current ground fault current of what and you know you could look at it now C does say the maximum fault current likely to be imposed on it so in other words it's saying if you have this system with all the energy going through it what in, in the way that it operates and works if everything went wrong all at the same time what would the maximum fault current be and if C is the correct answer you would have to have the system this low impedance path for ground capable of carrying that maximum fault current if everything went wrong at the same time now C actually is the correct answer we can use this question as some for some educational purposes to see if we can find something now I was looking up and I said well maybe there's something in a definition that I can go to and just kind of looking around here's what I found let's go into the definitions and we're going to go to grounding conductor and we have something interesting there here we are in article 100 at the front of the code book in, in the uh, definitions and it says a grounding conductor equipment and here the, the conductive path installed to connect normally non-current carrying metal parts of equipment together and to the system grounded conductor or to the grounding electrode conductor or both so this is a little bit like what the uh, the question was asking and again I tried to follow up through some of these keywords grounded conductor grounding electrode conductor and I couldn't couldn't find anything on that so I want to show you though the answer that was given and then let's see if we can at least learn a couple of things there that might help us in the test the correct answer on the answer key is given as 250.4 B2 now we know article 250 deals with grounding and bonding so here it is 
this is general requirements for grounding and bonding. Now that is a huge section of the code book. It's about 25 or 30 pages. And if you wanted to start looking for headings like this, you might not, you know, you think about oh, 25, 30 pages, that's a lot to look in. But this is right at the very front, almost on the first page, this right here. Now we can see A, it says grounded systems. Now our answer was 250.4B2. So let's go to B. And you probably know what we're going to find, what B says. Okay, B is talking about ungrounded systems, and that's what our question was asking. Now, if we read down here, bonding of electrical equipment. Now, see, this is grounding here, and then this is bonding. And the way our question was asked, it talks about the uh, components connected together, which is where everything's bonded together. And now this almost becomes word for word of what the question is asking. Non-current carrying conductive materials, enclosing electrical conductors or equipment, or forming part of such equipment, shall be connected together and to the supply system grounded equipment in a manner that creates a low impedance path for ground fault current that is capable of carrying the maximum fault current likely to be imposed on it. And we already told you that that was answer C in our question. So C is given as the correct answer, and we read it exactly out of the code book. It's just that the way that this question was worded, you really don't give, get enough information, enough clues to search for the, the right answer on this question. You would find as you're going through this that you might end up on a wild goose chase early. And the best I could do is that's why you always read the question. You want to make your best first guess if you don't know the answer right away or if you don't know exactly where to go to look for the answer. And then come back to it. We did show on how we, we kind of went through the question where we would have deduced the right answer. This is why if you have more electrical knowledge and more experience, you, you're going to have to re rely on that, and it could help you get some of these questions correct. So even though, in one sense, for the, you know, the, having this on an exam, it would, it would, you know, you wouldn't really like it. It doesn't seem like it's really a fair question. But we did learn something by this process, and that's what this course is all about. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful, please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.